John, what do you think about the way that MLB has been handling sticky stuff, especially this year? I mean, Max Scherzer's been suspended. Domingo Herman's been suspended. You could make the case that they were different situations. There's been guys asked to wash their hands. Where do you think we're at? with how to handle it because I know, you know, there was a crackdown and now it seems like the onus is on the league and they don't know what to do. Yeah. You know what? I think they need to figure something out that guys can use, Um, you know, and, and the, the, the hard part is, is, you know, I've heard about AJ and I were talking about this a couple weeks ago in, in Dallas and, you know, I heard how they wash their hands. They use, you know, rubbing alcohol, and then, you know, they're supposed to clean their hands with that. But if you use rubbing alcohol, you can go right back to the rosin and make it sticky again. So, you know, I, I think there's some gray area. I think there's some some things that need to be cleaned up, uh, you know, to, to kind of steal a line from, from Scherzer himself. It, I don't think they have a sticky substance problem. I think they have a spin rate problem. So you need to figure out a way to allow guys, because playing in Chicago, AJ, you know this, when it's 40 degrees and the wind's blowing, you know, that ball feels like a cue ball. And it, it, it's tough to grip. And even in the summertime when it gets hot and you start sweating a lot, it, it can be tough to grip sometimes. So I feel like there should be a way to use something that doesn't create, you know, these anomalies of spin rate. And, I mean, there's smart enough people in the game to, to figure this stuff out. So I, I, I just – I, I, like I said, I think there's a gray area that they're trying to walk this line and, and it's, it's working, but it's not, you know, you're seeing these guys, you don't want to see Max Scherzer get suspended for 10 days based on a, on a misunderstanding. Um, you know, that that's one of your faces of the game and you want him out there pitching every five days. So uh, I, I just think there's, there needs to be a way that, that, that these guys can get together and figure out something that everybody can use and everybody's happy with where it's not doctoring the ball, it's not making it move more or, or spin faster. It's just allowing the pitcher to have a nice, you know, good grip on the ball. All right, so I'm going to ask you the question, and you can tell me to fuck off. Where'd you Where'd you keep your shit? Um, I had mine up on the thumb of your glove, right? Yeah, you, you were left-handed, so you so it was here. Yeah, and you just kind of went. I saw. I used to watch you. you used to turn around. You used to turn your back and kind of. Give it a little. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you know, know, we were okay with it though. It was, it was, it wasn't. Well, everyone did that. Everyone did it. So it, some guys would go down here to their belt, or they'd grab their hat, or whatever it was. It wasn't a big deal. No, and and too, and it's different than what what a lot of people think too. Like I said, it, it's not helping the ball move, right? Like it's not you're not throwing the you know the spit ball or snot ball or whatever. It's it's literally for grip, and um, like I said, if that grip isn't creating spin rate, then I don't see that there's really any problem with it. Um, you know, like I said, man, like you, yeah. you Dude, listen, when you were throwing that cutter and you went and got sticky stuff to those righties, trust me, they wish you didn't have it. Okay. <laughs> Cause you were like, Oh, watch this. I'm going to get a little extra sticky stick and I'm going to throw yeah. this. Yeah. Hey man. I mean, like I said, it, I don't think it ever, other than gripping the ball, I don't think it ever helped my spin rate. I, I don't, I could be wrong. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, it may have helped my cutter break a little bit, a little bit better, but, um, you know, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I just, I feel like there's a spin rate problem and well, there was now I feel like it's coming back and, uh, back down to normal. Uh, you're going to have certain guys that can spin the ball better than others. And that is what it is. But, uh, the sticky stuff, man, I think kind of got blown out, you know, especially now it's, it's, it's just something that we really shouldn't even have to worry about. Remember, remember the game we were, 2014 were the Red Sox and Michael Pineda had the oh yeah his, the tattoo of pine tar on his neck <laughs> yeah yeah I mean, but that's the other part is like let's you know don't make it I think the other the other side of it to the hitters is there were some guys that were just making it blatantly obvious and kind of rub it in people's faces for lack of a better term um, you know if you don't put it in everybody's face then I think I think it it is fine and you can kind of do what you need to do.